Social media users, as well as certain conservative news outlets, such as, for example, this one, have been claiming that a transgender woman won first place in the female category of the London Marathon this year. But that's false, and here is why. The London Marathon is divided into different categories. There's the elite race for professional athletes with prize money at stake. And then there's the mass event that's pretty much open to anyone. And what was new this year, the London Marathon decided to open up uh, the mass event to people who identify as non-binary in addition to men and to women. The elite races in the London Marathon are subject to world athletics rules. These rules exclude transgender women from professional female competitions as of March this year. However, the amateur event uh, is not subject to the world athletics rules and offers open entry. That's how Glenique Frank that you're seeing uh, on this picture managed to enter the mass event legally, identifying as a woman and participated in the 50 to 54 year old category. The only award issued for the mass event is is a participation medal. We took a look at Glenique Frank's uh, marathon profile and we found that she placed 583rd out of more than 2,200 runners in her age category. And then she placed 6,171st to be exact out of more than 24,000 women. So we're nowhere near the first place that has been falsely claimed by certain social media users as well as news outlets. But Frank's achievement was met with instant criticism uh, from professional female athletes like for example Amelia Strickler a British shot putter and a two-time gold medalist in the British athletics competitions Mara Yamauchi the third fastest uh, British female marathon runner in history also hit out at Glenique Frank accusing her of breaking the marathon rules in an interview with the New York Post uh, Frank said if they want me to give my medal back I'll say, okay, fine, no problem. But I didn't compete as an elite, so I didn't steal any money. Frank emphasized the London Marathon uh, was the first of 17 planned races for which she was able to pick her name as well as her gender. But she promised that she would not run another race as a female until she's undergone surgery.